Yes, so <clears throat> in order to install the battery, the battery, so we have got, what we're going to demonstrate here today briefly is how to install the battery in the dump tube. Okay, so this is called the dump tube of the bike, right? And we have made sure that it is open, and so we have access to these two bottle mount holder uh, rivets here, right? So I have got in my hand two M5 screws, okay? And I have got two Nord lock washers, right? Now these Nord lock washers are excellent because they prevent loosening of the bolts against vibration. Okay, so we're going to use this hardware. That's all we have to use. This, this hardware. I have got an Allen key. Okay, this is a four millimeter Allen key, which is going to use to tighten it, right? And I have also got the battery holder. Which we can mount it. So we're going to mount the battery over here, and then we are going to tighten it, and we're going to run the wire. After that, we will think about how to. So that you can see here, this is this is matching it, right? And I can. Uh, so we have got three. We have got three slots here, so we can pick any two slots to be able to. We have here. Uh, we install the battery holder. We have got two screws here. We're going to tighten these two screws. And uh, so these screws require about three newton meter of torque to tighten it. And uh, so we're going to tighten this. It has got the long screws and the Nordlock washers. The Nordlock washers prevent against vibration. So we tighten this here. You can see. That looks like. Uh, also, if you have access to a torque wrench, you can set it to 300 meter and you can use this to tighten this as well. Right. So this is, we, we can see it is pretty sturdy. It is not going to come loose. You can ride it and, and occasionally you can check that these two screws are pretty tight. Okay. So once the battery holder is installed, then we can we have the battery, uh, this is our LI9 battery, which essentially you can mount it on the holder and it should go right in. Right? So you have, and then at the bottom here, we have got the on off switch in, in here, which you can turn uh, to see, uh, to turn on the battery. So what we'll do is, so we will for the time being, we are going to remove this battery uh, before we remove it, I want, uh, I want to highlight a few more things. One is, this here, key lock, allows you to lock the battery to the holder, right? So if you see here, the, there's a hole here on the battery holder, which allows you to lock the battery to the holder, right? Now, on the other side of the battery, uh, you have got the charging port. This is where you stick in your charger to charge the battery, right? And then on the front you have got in the in, in our uh, in our new batteries. This is used to turn on the battery from a sleep state. The battery is go to sleep, and you can use this uh, this switch to wake up the battery. And then you have to use this switch at the bottom to turn on the battery, right? So that's how. Uh, system is used. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this uh, because that's all we need. Because the next step is to figure out how to route the wires onto the frame. Right,